Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday and happy almost 4th of July. So I wanted to show you guys what look I am going to be doing for the 4th of July. I wanted to do something pretty simple, but still use red, white, and blue. So that's what we're going to do today. If you are new here, hi, my name is Corinne. I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos and let's get started. So I already did my base. Well, I just put foundation on and then I did my brows. So we're going to start with the eyes and this look is going to be predominantly focused on the eyes. I'm going to do a colored lip, but other than that, everything else is going to be fairly simple. So we're going to do a quick and easy, well, not necessarily easy, but it is only pretty much a couple products and that's all we're going to use. So I did prime my eyes with Max Paint Pot. I'm just going to put one shadow on my lid and I'm going to use a shade from the Anastasia Sultry palette and I'm going to dip into the nude shade Fresh that's up here in the corner. And I'm just going to throw that all over my lid. And I want this to be somewhat of a base because I'm not going to be putting on any other shadows. So I want this color to be the only color all over my lid. I thought about using a white just because of the look I'm doing, but I thought that would kind of look weird. So I figured I would go with something nude like this and it kind of blends into my skin tone and that's what I wanted. What we're going to do is we're going to do a red, white, and blue winged liner. So we're going to start in the inner corners and I'm going to start with the red. I'm going to be using a ColourPop gel liner in the shade Venus and that is right here. It is a little bit dried out actually. It has kind of separated from the rest of the pot so we'll see how this turns out. I do have a red pencil liner so if this doesn't work out then I'll go in with that. I'm just going to start in the inner corner and I'm just going to... Do as best as I can with this. It is kind of hardened. You can kind of see it's dragging my eye a little bit because it's pretty dry. Okay, so that's as far as I'm gonna go with the red and I'm going to kind of go over it with the white and you'll see what I do. So I don't have a white liquid liner. I do have a white liner. So we're actually gonna try that first and see how it looks. And then if not, I'm gonna pull a white shadow and use a mixing medium and then go with that. But we'll try the pencil first. I have this white pencil from Wet n Wild, I think. It's super, super old, but it's lasted me a long time. So I'm gonna go with that. And I'm just gonna go, I'm actually just gonna pull my eye a little bit because my wrinkly eyelid. So I'm gonna go in the middle and kind of blend it into the red. And I'm gonna go over the red after so the red is on top of the white and it doesn't look too pink. Next, I'm going to do the blue and that's gonna be the winged part. So I do have a liquid liner and this is from Wet n Wild. This is a Wet n Wild Mega Liner. But I do also have a pot liner from Tarte. These are the clay pots, I think they're called. And this is in the shade Cobalt. So that is the shade right there. And I think that one's a little bit better. So I think we're gonna try that first. And I'm gonna use a thicker brush for this. This is the angled brush from Juvia's Place. So I'm going to dip in and this one is actually a lot better than the ColourPop one. Like it's not as dry. So it might be a little bit easier to do. And so I'm going to connect them first. And again, we're going to blend that out. And I'm just going to kind of stamp it because this is a lot more pigmented than the others. And then I'm going to blend it in with the white and I'm gonna go a little bit more. Okay, so I think that's the best we're gonna do for the blue. It looks kind of a mess, but I think I wanna clean it up just a little bit to get that sharp edge. Okay, so I cleaned it up a little bit 
I'm gonna have to just put a little bit more. Well, I'm gonna put concealer. I haven't done concealer yet, so that'll cover that up a little bit. Put a little more white, just so that color really comes out. And then I'm just gonna kind of dab it with the red, just to get that color. Okay. We wanted it some kind of like ombre, so it kind of blends together, but you can still see the differences between the shades. So I'm just going to do my other eye the same way, and then I will be right back. Okay, so I just did the other eye, and that's how I'm going to leave the top lid. I'm going to kind of do the rest of my face. I'm going to put on some concealer. I am using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, and I'm going to kind of clean up the rest of my face. I'm going to set my face using the Too Faced Peach, per <laughs> Peach Perfect Powder. I'm gonna set my under eyes and then just put that all over my face. And like I said, I wanna do something pretty simple with the rest of my face. So I'm going to be using the Butter Bronzer and the butter blush and these are in this is the original bronzer shade and then this is in plum rose so i'm going to just throw those on quickly And then I'm going to finish it with the highlight from IBY Beauty, and this is the Radiant Glow Highlighter, and here's the shade right here. It is so pretty. I think I got this in an Ipsy bag. Looks a little pinky toned, but it's really gorgeous. Okay, now we're going to finish up the eyes. So I'm going to do something a little bit more fun and sparkly on the bottom. So I'm going to use a silver eyeliner, and this is also from Wet n Wild. Mine is so tiny, and the cap is broken. It's so old. So I'm just going to throw that on my waterline. Then I'm going to take the another shade from the Sultry palette, and I'm going to use the Cyborg shade, and that's the silver one at the bottom. And I'm going to just run that all over my lower lash line. And I want something a little bit more like icy in the inner corner. So I'm going to take a shade from the Too Faced White, Pe White Peach palette. And I'm going to sh take the shade Peach Ice, which is at the bottom. So I just want to add a little bit of that to the inner corner just to add that white sparkle and not put it right in my eye. <laughs> Lastly, I'm going to do some mascara, so I'm going to curl my lashes. And I've said before that I do my lower lash line first, so I'm going to actually use a blue mascara. This is from Colourpop, 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 and this is the shade Blue Ya Mind. But first I'm gonna go in with a primer and I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Base. I'm just gonna use that on my lower lash line to kind of prime just to get the white shade so the blue can come off more. Okay, that's white enough. My hair is everywhere. Okay, now the other eye. Okay, so I think that's how the bottom lash line is going to look. There is something in my eye. In the top lash line, I'm just going to go with black just so it's not doesn't take away from the rest of the look and I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I love this mascara and I just got it again in an Ipsy bag, so it was great because I was out of this. Okay, that just like transformed the look. Now it looks a little bit more normal. <laughs> so I'm going to finish it off with my lips. I'm going to, I'm going to line my lips using a Morphe lip liner and this is in the shade Mina this really pretty red and then I'm going over it with a Colourpop Libby stick in the shade Weekender. 
and this is a matte one. I thought about using a liquid lipstick or a gloss, but I didn't want to. I feel like using a matte. And these lip liners are so smooth. Which is dangerous for me because I get it all over the place. And then I'm going to do the lippy stick. Okay, so I really like that lip combo. I think it looks really nice and it looks really cool with the eyes. And actually I'm gonna do one last thing because you can see on my eyes that the white is kind of blending a little bit too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a white eyeshadow. I'm going to take the eyeshadow from the Life's a Drag palette by Manny MUA's brand from Lunar Beauty. I love this packaging and I'm using the white shade right at the bottom. And I'm just gonna kind of dab over that a little bit, just so you can get the white to, yep, it already made a huge difference. You can already see the difference between my eyes. I should have just went with this in the first place. Oh well. Okay, so, that is it, that is all I'm doing for this look. Oh, nope, I lied. <laughs> setting spray. So I'm using the Smashbox setting spray that I just got in my BoxyCharm. And it quacks. And there you go, and that's the last step. So I really like how this turned out. I think I did this last year, maybe, because I had like 10 minutes to get ready. I didn't know I was going anywhere. So I went with something like this and I love it. I think it's perfect for the 4th of July. I don't really know what I'm doing, if anybody is even doing anything this year, if we can go anywhere. So whatever, I will be wearing this regardless. And I did do my nails as well. And I did film a tutorial on that that was up yesterday. So if you haven't watched that yet, I will link that down below. So. That completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Happy 4th guys. Bye.